Tell me that it's only Andy and Yellow. Huh. Huh. I'm getting real quiet because I'm getting real serious. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alexis Renee and I'm so happy you're here. Be sure and subscribe and like this video if you like it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we are going, well, I'm going to try to paint a Bob Ross painting via tutorial. Um, I have to find the tutorial on YouTube because I haven't looked at any yet, but I have my canvas. This is like a canvas notebook, super cool. And then I have these painting utensils, not utensils, painting boards and so I can be like super Bob Ross, you know? So I have my laptop here and I'm going to look up Bob Ross tutorial and we're gonna choose one. There's a lot to choose from and I kind of want one to look like my my um like room colors let me find one okay i have found one that is called winter's peace and it kind of has like sunset colors which i feel like looks good with like this so maybe i'll be able to hang it up in my room but <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. I have a shit ton of paintbrushes. Check. Let me take my little thing out. Professional. And my little spears. Spears. All right. Welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. It's a fantastic day here, and I hope it is wherever you're at. Let's start out today and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me show you what I got done okay. up here. Titanium white. I feel like I, I know what that means, and I can surely place that in my, what is this called? Carousel? Okay, we got some titanium white. Now the next color says thought. Patholo blue. We're gonna have to wait because I have no idea. I have my standard old pre-stretched double prime canvas and I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. Okay, we're starting, we're starting. Should I? paint the canvas white. No. I think we're just coming to a conclusion that that's not gonna happen because if I were to do that, then that means I would have to wait for that to dry and then do this and I'm, I'm not waiting, so. Sorry, Bob. We're skipping that part. Thank you, Chef. Let's start out with a little Indian yellow on the old two inch brush. Okay, he's saying going in with a little Indian yellow. Now, I'm not sure what that means, but I have a couple different yellows. I have these, this, this one, Indian, I got this one. But I'm having, I'm having a feeling, and I have this one. And I feel like it's like a darker yellow. Okay. Jeez. And maybe some... 
some some orange. Ugh, I'm already messing this up. Some brown. Just a small amount of the Indian yellow. Okay, we'll go right up in here. Room. Sometimes winter scenes can be so cold that they they're almost they're almost difficult to look at. So I thought I thought today we'd do a winter scene that's very. It's too much. Hold on, hold on, Bob. Hold your damn horses. This is like perfectly blended. Fuck, mine. See, I went in a little too heavy handed, but you know what? We learn from this. Blend, blend, blend that shit out. Okay. Warm, it's very pretty. It'll just sort of make you feel good. There, put a bit of the Indian yellow. Without even washing the brush, go right into some yellow ochre. A little bit of yellow ochre. We just blend that using little X's, little crisscross strokes. See, that looks like my yellow. Indian yellow looks like fucking highlighter yellow. I'm gonna take this regular yellow and go below it a little bit. Like, this yellow is more like... This was the, what the fuck am I saying? This, the lower yellow is like, more like highlighter. Huh? 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 Kinda looks the same. Let's keep playing it. You don't even have to wash the brush. You can go right into the yellow ochre. No big deal. There. Shoot, that's working so good. I'll tell you what, tell you what. We'll go right into, once again, without washing the brush, a little bit of the bright red. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that. This is true red, so I feel like that might work. My canvas isn't painting on smooth like Bob's because I didn't paint mine. So, that's the price you pay, I guess. <laughs> Keep your faith. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't looking like he is. is expressive and um you know it's it's opinion based so you know i think this is beautiful and bob might disagree but that, that my friends is the beauty of art and maybe I should change my brush. Like, I understand the concept, Bob. I really do. We're painting a fucking... Sorry, I need to stop pressing. A freaking sunset. And, like, I understand that's what we're doing. And, like, I probably would have gone about it differently. But, hey, you're the expert. So, here we are. Let's keep going. Colors together. It's very pretty, That's Indian yellow, want. yellow ochre, and then the bright red. And now let's wash the brush. As you know, we wash our brushes in odorless paint. Mine is paint not as pretty. Mine is not as pretty. We'll shake off the excess. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. 
That really is the fun part. Now then, I'm gonna go into a little bit of the, a little bit of the phthalo blue. Just a small amount. Okay. Mine's like purple. Yeah, mine's and come back and blend those together. All right, now while we have that blue in there, let's just go across the bottom. We're gonna have a little snow. That'll just end up being some beautiful shadows in our snow. a good time. There, a little more color. There we are. See, it's just gonna float around though. Clouds may be one of the freest things in nature. So just let them go. Let them have a good time in your world. All right. Okay, Bob. Okay. Just let them have a free fun time in my world. Fan brush, but you know, we're gonna have to make it work. Just let them go. Gives us an indication of a little cloud that's living far away. Tell you what, shoot. The cloud needs a little friend, so we'll give him one. He lives right there. Just a happy little guy. In my world, everything is happy. So we have happy little clouds and happy trees. All right, let's have some fun. Let's take, let's take, we'll use today some. Prussian blue, a little bit of black, put a little crimson in it too. What the heck? Maybe what? a little more crimson. Wait, and right some white. Just sort of let it run across here, wherever you want it to go. Huh. I think I'm going to try to use one of these. All upward lift, so it looks like the tops of little distant trees live far, far away. That's cool. Okay. My spirits are... My spirits are back high. Now I'm going back into the darkest part of that color. This is the darkest part. It still has a little white in it, but it's darker than what's up there already. Let's go back up here. Maybe there's another little foothill that lives right in here. Notice that little misty area that we put in there. That becomes the separator, becomes your best friend. Cherish it, take care of it. We'll see. We'll do is just 
just tap downward. My trees don't look like that. Just tap downward like that. And I did mine over my hill, so I already fucked up. Painting things in a far away, the lack of detail helps create that illusion of distance. <laughs> and just beat the dough. I got two of them. Let's wash them both. Man knows, man knows how to whip it. But see that blue that we put on now shows through. And it looks like shadows. Too shabby. Let's put a little tree back here. We'll just make it with a two. Okay, some brown, some brown. You know, speaking of my little squirrel, I've got a new little baby squirrel. I want to, I want to show him too. He's the cutest little devil I've ever seen. What? so good too. I'm going to use that just to put the indication of a few little highlights on this tree. Okay. That's your bravery test. You ready? Let's come right up in here. Right there. Just start by making a little touch on it. too far down but and with that let's put a few highlights on this tree I want to keep it pretty dark mm. I mean you kind of have to look at it like cross-eyed like make your eyes a little bit blurry and then you know it kind of looks like this Blue, that's okay too. It's up to you. Totally and completely up to you. Let's go back to an old two inch brush, put some white on it, and I'm gonna grab, and intentionally I'm grabbing a little bit of this dark color, and I'm gonna pull it. Pull it. Thanks. It allows us to sort of lay out our basic shape. And secondly, it removes excess paint. Take a little Van Dyke brown, paint the back eaves, the front. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, <laughs> it's about to all go downhill. Right here. Decently. A little bit of the brown, mix it together. Barely grazing the canvas, barely touching it. <laughs> I'm getting real quiet because I'm getting real serious. I'm getting real serious. It's, it's personal now. It's getting real personal because he he's really testing me now. And I'm competitive, what can I say? So like, I'm trying to make this look good now. And this little cabin might have just done it for me. Screw my whole, my whole, my whole vibe up. Freaking little cabin. Screw you, cabin. I just started crying. I'm trying to use my knife like him, but the, it's just scraping the paint off. Like it's not, it's not working. Ooh. Right up in here. I like to sort of lay out the shape so I have a nice straight edge to work from there. And then when you pull it down, it's nice and straight. That easy. Over here on the other side, just a little snow, like that.
We're almost done. I like big trees. There they are. We could actually nice make these trees. trees with a one inch brush, two inch brush. <laughs> First, darker, darker, darker. Just turn the brush over and use this one. <laughs> not, not, not god awful. She's kind of cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I don't even know what time it is. Midnight. Okay, this took me two hours. Maybe an hour. But anyways, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, watching me get really, really intrigued and invested in this painting, um, give it a thumbs up. Um, painting is something I do like to do and so yeah, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, uh, and follow me on Instagram at Real Alexis Renee. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.